I would have never thought to myself that I could see a version of Freya giggling as she jumps in bed because a man has finally stood her up. Rather than all these simps that just listens to her, you have Belle that just ran away when she invited her him into bed. And she was like, oh my god, this is so good. She's giggling, giggling, kind of like Seer too, right? It, 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 did, it did feel like that. And that much is just a peak right now because of what Freya's doing. But make no mistake, what Freya's doing is incredibly fucked up. She basically just mind controlled the entire, you know, Orario. There's few exceptions. Ryu and, you know, uh, Ryu and Asfi, who knows where they still are, right? But it's so sad for Belle as, you know, Belle is like being gaslit, thinking like, I'm not crazy, you're all crazy. But everyone else is saying, no, you're crazy. And Freya has the diary from the guild receptionist. I don't know how Freya showed up immediately either. Because the guild receptionist girl was like kind of like looking, looking, and then Freya pulled up behind. And I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Does she have eyes everywhere? If people are charmed, is this all just like a surveillance state? It's pretty spooky. Let's see what's gonna happen in today's reaction though. Ryu? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. We have some people who are normal. Leon. Oh, their code names. The titles. Giga Hermes. Oh. <laughs> Was that Otara? Is that Otara? <laughs> what the fuck? Not yet. Now's not the time. Mm -hmm. Even the gods, bro. No god can counter it? Well, Hestia can. We're together though, we can do this, but what? What's the prep? Oranos! Bro ain't moving. Don't bother asking. Kind of. Eyes and ears. So it is just a surveillance state. Her showing up behind the guild receptionist was not just RNG. The charm? The letter? What does it say? Right. This is an analogy, right? He's not actually too busy stocking up firewood for the winter, right? He's planning something. These are, these are cold words. Secret plans within plan. Because Freya is listening. Look at the eyes. Charm. There we go. Huh. I'm not big brain enough to understand all of that, but basically Ganesha family won't have time. They already have, they're busy. Hermes, Hermes, okay. Ganesha, not Ganesha, Hermes. Mm, Hermes wanted to, you know, get the letter delivered when the time is right. Mm, something is cooking. All right, Oranos, you helped us out here. Sit in your fucking throne, bro. That's all you ever do. How does he shit? You think there's a fucking pot, like a, like, do you think, that he, like, there's like a hole? Like his throne is like a toilet. He sits here all day. He does nothing. Surely this is, there is plumbing system here. He sits, he doesn't have to ever move. All right, we're still training. Bell's getting strong and strong, man. Simps. She's still studying on the dialogue, dude, diary. Remember, the Ksoneko, right? The uh, big bro? Remember Anya, Anya Vana. I don't know how Anya's gonna play into the plot either though, but like, okay. They're like stuttering. Okay. Some freedom. <laughs> Still being spied on. Okay. Irregularities. Yeah, so the subconscious, right? 
all our family members before, they could maybe realize deep within, even though right now only Hestia is aware. And after watching that uh, Anius cut content regarding how Othar and everyone else here kind of felt about Freya and how she's just crashing out, there could be a moment where, you know, these dudes all kind of like help us out and maybe Bell isn't death. really alone. I don't know, maybe I'm too hopeful, but like, Otar and stuff, based on what Annie's cut content was saying, it, it does sound like they're kind of worried about all this shit, and this doesn't really feel right. Hmm? Oh. Okay。Okay。Okay。Okay。Okay。Okay。Okay。Okay。Okay。Okay。Okay。Okay。Okay。Okay。Okay。Okay。Okay。Okay。Okay。Okay。Okay。Okay。Okay。Okay。Okay。
大丈夫です。治療は受けません。おお。ごめんなさいね。余計なことを言ってしまった。I wonder how many nights will have passed to the point where he's gonna say fuck this. Remember how she crashed out by telling all of Oradio at like a meeting of like, listen, I'm gonna just do it, okay? My bad. Fuck you. So like, will she have a moment like this for Belle? Cause like she's enough. She's like, okay, enough. I'm I'm tired. I'm tired of this shit. Come fucking come over here. Uh oh. Freya mad. What? Mmm, Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia mentioned. Pew. Oh what? She guessed that? Yeah, they're waiting. Ryuasi. They're already in almost. And Anya. And Anya. What is Anya's role in this story right now? The connection with the Vana family. What are they cooking with there? I feel like she's gonna be so important. Hmm, Anya, what you doing? Forever. She's not fired yet. Mama Mia didn't fire her. Damn, bro, the other girl's gotta pick up the shifts. She gone. She never exists. Anya? Not charm. Are important. <laughs> the best part is her bro said, "Stop it! Stop talking like that! Stop it! You, you stop it! Okay? You're gonna make fun of school if you keep talking like this." And she was like, "Okay, I'll drop the cat puns." So we clearly do know that she can talk without these cat puns. But I love it when she talks with cat puns. She's not charmed. Anya's also good. Mamma Mia. Who? Mamma Mia. She's in? Mamma Mia is also good. What the fuck? Also, are we allowed to just say this shit in front of the other people who don't know? About that. Dude, give me Otara versus Mamma Mia. I need to see a matchup between Otara and Mamma Mia, bro. One second. Holy shit, Mamma Mia's getting into this story, bro. I've been just, I've been glazing her so much because she's so funny to me. Her name, Mamma Mia. I even said, like, next season it's gonna be Mamma Mia's arc where she has a chance with Belle because every fucking tavern girl is, bro. Unforgivable. <gasps> bro. オラリオに無事潜入できたが、やはり町は神フレイヤの魅了に落ちている。アニア。アニア。フレイヤ様。お。イラシ。あ、ああ。いらっしゃい。あ、ああ。いらっしゃい。あ、ああ。いらっし
for five seasons, pretty much. <laughs> to, to, for this, this is it, Anya. Are you are you having fun? Exactly, playtime. Mind break. Ooh. Oh no, Ryu. Now's not the right time. Oh shit. But Freya is very, very favorable towards Ryu. These two have a very deep connection. Let's see how Freya acts. One of the best things about, you know, having subtitles is that line over here. Whenever someone's, you know, sentence doesn't complete, I feel like he's about to get fucked up immediately or get cut in, right? We can, we can hedge that. We can kind of see like, uh-oh, uh-oh, he can't finish his sentence. Something crazy is about to happen. There it is. I thought Freya would like step in and fight. That voice acting changed. Yeah. Yep. Were they real? Did you ever care about me? But I think Freya did. Right? Freya pretty much has confirmed that she does care about Ryu a lot. But were those like dialogues and all those moments spent, were they genuine? Playtime. Playtime for the goddess. She's so bored. They have nothing better to do. These gods and goddesses are fucking trash, bro. They need some jobs. I mean, she did get a job. She was so bored, she did get a job. Alright. Ooh. Here we go. You're Freya. There we go. Oh, charm? No, it's too strong. Damn, that look from that look from Seer, bro. Look at that. Dude, I would have never imagined Seer to be able to make a face like this. Yeah, you are wilding out. Hate it? She hates using this power? Maybe there's something deep inside, like a complex, where she desires to be desired. But using powers like this, obviously, is fraudulent. You're forcing the other person to do that. Which kind of, like, questions your respect and your status as the goddess of beauty. Why can't you truly charm people without your powers? I don't know. Just as much. They're gonna double team Bell. I'm mean, I mean, Freya's actually offering. Like, Freya's actually offering Ryu. Come on. Let's go seduce Bell together. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna tag team Bell. No, you must. But if it's Ryu, Ryu, it's fine. Damn. I think beyond just like the bizarreness of this and the humor, like, that is significant. That Freya feels that comfortable and respects Ryu. Like, their relationship is that deep. Not Anya, though. <laughs> It's gonna be a fucking orgy every night, bro, until they become one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> can goddesses have babies, actually? Like, can Freya become impregnated? How does that work? I'm not sure, but like, Ryu could. What the fuck, bro? Uh-oh. Yeah. Womp womp. Now what? They're just gonna abandon Ryu? I hear a storm. And Freya's back. Bro, that voice acting changed. Dungeon. She can't, seems to. <laughs> defile. <laughs> the word defile is just such a... I don't know, when I hear that word, it's just like perfect word to really describe like infiltrating someone, just like corrupting them. It's like just 
Making it bad. What a word, dude. Yeah. Cap. Cap. Okay. Too sentimental, though, huh? That's interesting. She hates to use her powers. And she's very sentimental towards Ryu. Could she kill Ryu? I wonder. But with Ryu now, honestly, coming over to the dungeon near that, you know, in Freya's mansion, that does connect Belle closer. And with heading, I just feel like... Something is happening behind the scene. And we can break out Ryu and something good can happen. Now what about Anya? What? Make any more stupid moves in that tavern is getting graced. Mamma Mia, bro. Mamma Mia, step up. Mamma Mia, fucking pull up, bro. Mamma Mia, level 6. <laughs> I want Mamma Mia to fight these dudes. Nah, Mamma Mia would win. Low diff. <laughs> Anya is having a breakdown, man. Nah, Asfi, what you doing? Asfi, what you gonna do? Invisibility, yep. <laughs> Nighttime again? Hello. Y'all can tell? I see. Bell can like, Bell's purity? He's gonna like, try to fix Freya too. Cause like, Freya's got a lot of shit going on. Her head's very disconfused. So if Bell just, you know, approaches and says like, are you okay? Can I, you know, help you or something? Is this another dress? So far, I, I thought that every one of this is the same white dress. Maybe, maybe the different things was changing around the titties, but all I see is the titties. But yeah, I feel like Belle could actually, you know, reach Freya's heart like this. She can't hide the feelings, huh? <laughs> That's like the author trolling us right now, bro. Despite, despite how oblivious you are normally, are to women's feelings. This motherfucker is so dense. You were just reading her right now. Whatever. Yeah, you're so nice to me, so let me help you. But she can't. She can't tell details. Oh. Nah. She knows it's her fault. Not happening. But I'm crazy. I'm too stubborn. I'm crashing out. This soundtrack is so good. Hmm. Never thought about that. Maybe. Wow. Yo, what's going on, Joe? We gotta watch Dandaran after this too, yes. My sleep schedule is fucked up. It's 6 in the morning. <laughs> you waking up, and I'm going to bed. <laughs> the sleep schedule is getting more and more fucked up, yo. Yo, she's blushing! Hmm. Bell, reject her. Say no! <laughs> Just kidding! Tee -hee. Tee -hee, just kidding! Yeah. <laughs> and she likes it. That's crazy, bro. In what fucking world do you get away with this shit? It happens in Danmachi. Bro, the more you simp for this girl, and actually, you know what? There's some truth to this in the world where, again, all these other dudes that simp for Freya, they always do whatever she says them to do. She doesn't respect that. She thinks it's boring. Belle denied her invitation to bed last episode. And she's like, oh my god, this is so peak. She just confessed and says, I love you. And Belle's like, eh? Eh? And She's like, oh, you stop it. That's right. People want what they can't have. It's this chase, right? It's not about the goal. It's not the end destination. It's like that one reference from The Dark Knight where the Joker says, bro, I don't have a plan. I'm just chasing after a car. Do you think I know what I'm going to do when I get to the car? Okay? It's just all about that chase. That the illusion of the chase, right? That is more, like, compelling 
than like the actual destination. And when you get there, you don't really know what to do and you get fucking bored. Seriously? <laughs> Oh, wrong move, wrong move, wrong move, wrong move, wrong move. <laughs> she, she, she changed that so fast, bro. It's your son. It's your son. Wait, wait. That's your, oh, oh. Yo, that's a wrong move. Oh. oh. This is a rare slice of life moment. This face might be even more shocking. Would you ever have imagined Freya? To make this kind of fucking slice of life cute and funny moment. What the hell? I mean, last episode we got a bit of it, but like, what the hell, bro? You like that? You like that shit? You want to get more humiliated? No, this time Bell, she said no. I won't leave. Fuck you. The diary. No, the hairpiece. Now, let's think about the story in the chapel. Remember that story? I forgot about it, but it was when we were on the date, and it was a story that I think represented Belle, right? Belle had like a, there was like two girls. I'd have to go back to the episode and think about it. There's like two girls, and something, and, and something tragic happened, and he couldn't like save one or the other. Some other girl came back and crashed out, but then came back to save us or some shit. And he could just say both, right? I, I think that, are those two girls supposed to be Freya and Siri here? I'm not sure, but I feel, yeah, the hero and the spirit, that story I feel like is going to be very important to kind of like represent this arc moving forward. Horn. Horn is also feeling these feelings. Horn is getting horny. That was Horn basically phasing through like Freya's emotions, right? She's also a very important piece. So is Hedin. Hedin, I think, is planning some shit so big right now. A lot of different pieces, I think, will be slowly on our side. Hedin, oh, definitely. I mean, nah, bro. Hedin's gonna vouch for us, bro. Hedin is gonna clutch for us. This line also just confirms it. And that's another episode of Damachi, bro. These episodes just keeps getting better and better. Oh my, every episode has been so good. This is probably one of the more, like, slower episodes. But still, it's just so peak. So what did we learn today? Well, Ryu and Asphi are finally back. Oranos also gave us some advice to Hestia regarding like the firewood, which is just like code names, right? We're just, we're just, we're just saying shit and we don't want to, you know, basically phrase listening, phrase watching. So the firewood, there's this family, Gaston, I don't fucking know, whatever, they're fashion you or whatever. But, you know, Hermes, and you know, there's something going on there. So Hestia's got some ideas. Oranos just sitting there just shitting on his fucking chamber. Bell is getting stronger and stronger. Remember, this is pretty much an insane training boot camp arc for Bell. So all the levels that he's gained so fast, but the this proficiency of his stats, I'm sure it's gonna get maxed out more closer than ever. More people are accepting us. More people also are thinking doubting Freya's intentions. And Anya too, right? I don't know exactly what role Anya will play, but I also want Mama Mia to show up and fucking pull up and fight Otaru. Freya's weakness is her feelings. And I didn't even realize that Belle could approach Freya like this and say, Are, what's wrong with you, right? Are you okay? Classic Belle to, you know, do this shit. Where he's trying to fix the girl that's trying to gaslight him and break him. And Freya has some great moments. But Hedin, Horn, like these are some key characters I think will be on our side. And I have to really think about that whole story about the spirit and the hero and stuff. To see how this may kind of hint at the conclusion of this arc. That's it from me. If you're still here though and if you enjoyed this reaction, Please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.